Namaste and welcome seekers of enlightenment and truth. I am Sadhguru Ashutosh, your guide on this journey towards inner peace and wisdom. In today's video, we will be delving deep into a historical story from the heart of India, a tale that weaves spirituality and life's profound truths into a rich tapestry. Each story we share is a step towards understanding the profound depths of our being and the universe around us. So let's embark on this journey of discovery. Remember to subscribe, stay blessed and let the light of wisdom guide your life. In the ancient city of Ujjain, there reigned a wise and just king named Bharti Hari. Renowned for his wisdom and fairness, King Bharti Hari was loved by his subjects. However, despite his wealth and power, the king often found himself pondering over the impermanence of life and the true nature of happiness. One day, a wandering sage presented the king with a special gift, a fruit that would grant eternal youth and wisdom to whoever consumed it. King Bharti Hari, who had a beloved queen named Pingala, decided to offer her this miraculous fruit, for his love for her knew no bounds. However, Queen Pingala was secretly in love with the chief commander of the king's army. Blinded by her affection, she gave the fruit to the commander. The commander, in turn, passed the fruit to a courtesan he was enamored with. This courtesan, who respected and admired the king greatly, brought the fruit back to the king Bharti Hari. When King Bharti Hari learned of this circle of deceit, he was heartbroken and disillusioned. Realizing the fickle nature of human relationships and the transient joy they offered, he decided to abdicate the throne and seek spiritual enlightenment. Retreating to the forest, Bharti Hari became a renunciate and composed verses on renunciation, love and moral conduct, known as Bharti Hari's Shataka. His verses spoke of the fleeting nature of worldly pleasures and the eternal peace found in the spiritual detachment. Dear viewers, this story isn't just a tale of a king and a magical fruit. It is a profound lesson on detachment and the transient nature of worldly pleasures. How often do we chase after things, thinking they will bring us eternal happiness, only to find ourselves back where we started? Imagine the king's face, expecting his queen to be youthful forever, only to find the fruit playing musical chairs around the kingdom. Sometimes life throws us such humorous curveball, doesn't it? Now. I have a question for you. Have you ever chased something you thought was vital, only to realize it wasn't as fulfilling as you thought? Share your stories in the comments below. Let's learn from each other's journeys. We all in our lives have our fruit of wisdom moments, chasing after things or people, believing they are our ultimate source of happiness. This story is a gentle reminder that true peace and happiness lie within us, in our spiritual core. In conclusion, King Bharti Hari's journey from the throne to the forest is a powerful metaphor for our own spiritual journey. It teaches us the importance of looking beyond the temporary and finding solace in the eternal truth within us. Until next time, embrace the stillness within, cherish the wisdom around you and live your true self, the Atman. This is Sadhguru Ashutosh bidding you farewell but not goodbye. Stay blessed, stay inspired and carry the essence of this serenity into the world. May Mahabharati bless you. Namaste.